so this is our array in java part 2 that is icsc java tutorial series so in this series we are going to discuss java programming especially in arrays so in the previous uh, that is part 1 i discussed the basics of arrays and in this i'm going to share something where how we can provide an input in, a, in a, using an array in a java program and how to print it so let's move to the program so here we are opening this blue jet okay this is java's id where we can develop java program so i this time i've already made a java program for you with the name input array so i'm just going to explain you quickly how really we have made it and how really it works so this is the source code and like you already know we have imported a package called java.io.star where we will be using the classes which are there in the io package especially for providing input buffer reader and input stream reader all right then i have made a class with the name input array fine and within that class i have this main method you are well aware of this that is public static word main string args then throws io exception i have mentioned this because you know that while providing input or doing input output operation it might throw an exception object which need to be handled so this is the way how we can do this i think you are all aware of this okay so now we are beginning with the main method okay and here i have the statement buffer reader br equals to new buffer reader within bracket new stream input stream reader system dot in again you are aware of this this is the way how we provide an input through the console okay where the two classes are involved buffer reader and input stream reader they both belongs to io package that is why we have imported this package so once the package has been imported these classes are available to us all right now once we have created this object with the name br or buffer reader that we will be using for taking input fine now have a look at this this is the way how we create an array in the last program or a series uh, part one i discussed with you so here i have made an array with the name name of string type and new is a keyword and here is the size of an array that means five means i can store five element in it okay now there's a method called length with the help of length i'm counting the length of that array so name of the array is simply the name dot length will give me the length of that array which will store in a variable called length so in this case obviously it should be five because i have five element in it so i have just counted the length of that array and stored in the variable called length so now we will not be using five but we will be using the name called length here okay you can name any now this is something we are printing on the screen the length of that array is length so how much it is going to print it is going to print five because i have five element in that array which i have just created so i think that is quite easy now moving to the input part of it where i have declared and again a variable with the name i it can be any other name and have initialized with the value zero now you know for multiple input it would be always better to use for loop so here we are using this for loop has been again initialized with the value zero and it is running till less than length now this is interesting less than length now what is the value of length from here we have got the length that is five but this is going to run till less than length means it will run till four only because it is less than length so it will start from zero and will run till four so if you count it is running with the value of i that is zero one two three four in all again it is five i think i discussed with you index number always begin with zero and ends with one less than length because length is five 
and the counting is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But index number always begin with 0. So when we are dealing with an array, always remember that we will go one less than length that is 0 to 4. 0 to 4 is again 5. Okay. So you can't put equal here. If you will put equal here, you know what will happen? It will go to the fifth index also, which is not there because index are only 0 to 4, not 5. So this you have to keep in your mind. Now with I plus plus to increment. Now BR dot read line. You know that the BR dot read and BR is an object of buffer reader, which is taking input through console using read line method and assigning the value to I. The I is initially it is zero. So the first at the first run value name Z I is actually name zero. So that will give the first input to name zero, then name one, name two, name three, and name four because there is no five I told you then, uh, right now. So it will take five input and it will go to name zero, name one, name two, name three, name four. Then this loop will end because the condition has been satisfied. So by the way, what happened? We have run this loop five times and store names in, uh, in that array with zero to four. Now we are going to print it. So same way we have used this uh, for loop again with zero and less than length and I plus plus. I think you are well aware of. Now we are printing now system dot out dot print. And what I have put inside double inverted comma is, will be printed as it is name stored in then plus I. I is what the value of I that is zero, zero index. So name stored in at the first run zero index plus i plus 1 means 0 plus 1 is 1 1 element means name is stored in 0 index 1 element any first element is name 0 whatever name we will provide then in the second run it will be name stored in 1 index 2 element the second element is second name and so on so let's see its output okay I have already compiled it and you can see there is no error so we will close it and we will now run it and see how it, it give us the output so it is asking for input as you can see length of this array it is already shown as 5 okay that was the statement before the input so that is there fine now it is asking for input let's say i'm giving the input let's say five names so let's say amit then let's say sumit then let's say ajay let's say vijay and then say sunil or whatever have a look at this so it is clearly shown that length of the array is five because our array was of length five and then these are the input and look at the output name stored in zero index I told you just you can match with the program zero index first element or the one element is Amit and then first index second element so mid, second index third element Ajay and then so on so this is quite simple you can always take the screenshot of that program okay and here you can see index number is running one behind the element so index are from 0 to 4 whereas the element are from 1 to 5 I think that is uh, good enough I think you must have understood at least something how to work with arrays provide an input and print the output okay thank you very much